I'm smelling of death and I love it. Erotic, neurotic, yeah, that's more me. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back. I'm the Fragrantician. Welcome back to another edition. And on this channel, we talk about nothing but fragrances. So if that's your jam, if that's your Buck's Fizz, if that's your mojito, or if that is your porn star martini, keep on sniffing. So in this edition, we are talking about flowers, but not just any old flowers. We are talking flowers that are green, in bloom, in full bloom, and decaying. Yes, the smell of flowers slightly starting to decay, wilting, smelling so strong that, yeah, people will smell you. And these are bangers. So let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from the House of Amuwa. Deserves an honorary mention. And although it's not overtly indolic, by indolic I mean it's not to the point where it's so strong that those flowers are just, oh, they're just bashing you in the face with that smell. But it's still fairly challenging to some. And I'm talking about figment from the house of Amouage, which is a recent find. I've not talked about it before. Let me tell you, this fragrance, this perfume, I don't even have to bring my hand up to my nose. It's strong, like all fig figments, like all amouages are. This, to me, the feeling I get when I wear this fragrance, what conjures up to me is a mermaid that has been washed up ashore and flowers are all around her. The flowers of lilies, of tuberose, jasmine, all of those white florals. And they are slow. That it's like they've been in the sea for too long and they are starting to die, starting to wilt. That fragrance is coming from them. And this mermaid is drinking some bourbon whiskey. She is that kind of mermaid. That, what a strange analogy. But as this fragrance dries down, it then goes to this beautiful smokiness. And it's not too smoky, it's not too indolic, but the florals in this just dance and shine off your skin. Completely unlinear, it's not a linear scent. It's probably, yeah, it's quite a challenging floral for some. It's, it's hard to describe, it's complex like all Amouage fragrances are. It's absolutely stunning. I adore this so much. I'm going to spray a little bit more on. There we go. Amouage Figment. I will do a full review of this. But to me, this smells like flowers that are just starting to decay. Next scent is a decaying rose. Not a fresh cut rose, a decaying rose. And that is Imogen Rose. And it is like a rose that has grown up from the earth. It's been watered, but now it's just slowly starting to die. And or oh, you've just plucked a rose, you've just plucked it, and you've had it a while, and the petals are starting to fall. This is what Imogen Rose evokes to me. It is earthy as well. It's gothic, it's deep, it's brooding. I like that word, brooding. It's a decaying rose. It is a rose unlike no other that I've smelt before. It's strong, it has been discontinued, but you can still find it on the grey market if you look. Yeah, this is, it's, it's vetiver combined with rose. Maybe there feels like there's a bit of ylang ylang in here. Not a lot though. Imogen Rose. The scent 
of a decaying rose. Next scent is an oldie, but it is a goodie. And boy, is it a floral scent. All of the florals that you can imagine are in this scent. But these florals, they say it's like a wedding scent. Yes, it is a wedding scent, but I still feel there is something teetering on indolic in this scent, teetering on slightly fecal, if that's the word, that, that feeling of, you feel a bit disturbed by the smell almost. Those, those florals are just, they're, they're at the point where they're about to start to die. And the smell that comes from it, from the tuberose, from the jasmine, from all of the florals, all of the florals that you can imagine, it's a purely floral scent. Amarige by Givenchy. It's strong, um, beautiful, beautiful scent. I, I don't need to spray a lot of this. this. These are one of the scents I don't need to spray a lot. I think it's beautiful and I love now, it. The next scent is all about what I think a night blooming jasmine smells like, but it's decaying, it's dying. It's there that last evening of your holiday, you're smelling it in Corfu, Fils de Joie by Serge Lutens. I call it my sweet gothic vampire jasmine scent and that's what it is. It's got the sweetness in there from honey, but the jasmine in this, you've got to like that white floral of jasmine. And not just any jasmine, night blooming jasmine, which at night when it blooms, the fragrant is so pungent, it can be a little bit too much of a knock in the face. This is what this does. It's perfectly balanced. I call this a fragrance that's perfectly balanced with jasmine and honey, but I love it. Fils de Joie by Serge Lutens. That jasmine that is just slowly dying and it's beautiful and I love it. Love it. The next one I've only briefly talked about, I think once before, and it's hardly talked about, and that's by the House of Illuminum. And this is Trumpet Flower. Now, you can get flowers which are called Trumpet Flowers. This is extremely, extremely <laughs> strong, strong. You know when you get that, you peel a banana and it's that banana type. You get that. It doesn't smell of banana, but it has that type of vibe from it banana that's maybe almost gone off. That's, what, that's how flowers can come across when they are at their peak, when they are past their peak, just past their peak, and they are just slowly starting to wilt. This, this has it. It hasn't got lilies in, but I think it's got this Datura flower in there this night blooming Datura flower, which I don't think has a smell as such, but they've created an accord to give it that smell, to mimic that smell. And it's so inexpensive, but it's so strong. Spray at your will. Spray at your will, spray at your peril, I mean. Yes, spray at your peril. I've only worn this a couple of times. It's a challenging fragrance to some. It's one that my husband just does not like at all but if you can get your hands on this here in the UK I know I don't about the US but in the UK it's like under 30 quid for 100 ml trumpet flower by aluminum the penultimate one we're going to talk about is by Grèce and that is Cabotine which is an aldehydic floral but it is completely strong it's got hyacinth in there it's got, again, all the flowers that you can imagine that I think would smell at a funeral. Some of these scents evoke flowers around a coffin at a funeral. This one definitely does. This is a 90s sheep floral. And 
I think it's got a little bit of sandalwood and musk in there as well. But mostly it's all about all of those florals in there that, that you can think of, that you can get from a florist. Cabotine de graisse, a decaying flower for a funeral. As a footnote, not that I'm saying that, you know, you should wear these flowers, these scents at a funeral. You know, it's nothing like that at all. I'm just equating it to that, to, because that's what people used to do. They used to put flowers all around the coffin. If you're Catholic, you did, I know that. Because the bodies were smelling, <laughs> let's face it. So the florals had to be strong and pungent and, and I love that. I get off on it. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is just purely called Tuberose by Monothem, which is a brand that I had never heard of until one day I was in Marks and Spencer's. Oh, let's just spray. They had different florals. And this won it. This, I've only worn it a couple of times. It's an eau de toilette, 100 mils, under 20 quid. And I'm gonna do a full review on this. Yes, but it is a tuberose soliflor. So it's tuberose all the way through. I don't know what else is in there, but it's just tuberose. And it's a tuberose that you have to love. It's not a sweet tuberose at all. It is a tuberose that, again, has opened, has bloomed. Hasn't it, Claude? Yes. And as it dries down, it gets even more stronger. And I was like, oh, taken aback by it. But Tuberose by Monothem e Venezia. If you can, get it because it's, it's you could layer this with other scents if you wanted to. But I mean, it looks so art deco, doesn't it? Looks gorgeous. And I know I'm gonna do a review on this. So yes. Tuberose by E. Venezia. So this room now smells pungent with florals, but I don't care. So yes, there we go. What kind of other indolic florals? Florals that evoke decay. What are they? Comment down below. But until next time, you've been watching another edition of the fragrantition and as i always say stick your finger up to the world smile and think that look says it all bye